Hello everyone. Welcome in the data mask. So today we will discuss about a new deep learning model which is mainly related to the change detection DDPM that is denoising diffusion probabilistic model as a feature extractor for chain detection. Actually, uh, this DDPM is a generic model which is based on the diffusion technique. So it comes under diffusion models. So the DDPM can also be used for chain detection. How is by using some simple technique called feature extraction only from DDPM. So here, uh, this is the research paper which is published and this is the github repository so the research paper was published in 2024 of name as a ddpm cd that is denoising diffusion probabilistic model as a feature extractor for chain detection so now let us understand the prerequisite and the architecture of this deep learning model so for chain detection we need two images two images should be registered with each other and they should be radiometrically normalized. Given the two images to the DDPM model, we can use DDPM as a feature extractor. So the first image will go in this DDPM network, which is basically the image will be converted into the vector and that vector will be down sampled and then again up sampled. The same weight will be also be applied on the second image. For the second image also it will be converted into vector and then downscaling and upscaling of the image will happen. So from the different set of layers we can extract some features. So those features we can utilize and pass into some different model that is called hierarchical change decoder. So here is the architecture so after finding the feature extractions or after finding the extracted features we will input them to a change decoder basically so uh, for a single change decoder this is the complete picture the decoder will be having a convolution layer for the first image of the second image and we will be subtracting both of them and after subtraction, there is some uh, like uh, it will be converted into vectors. Vector will be downscaled and upscaled, and then final some some additions of different changes will happen. And that change addition will be output as a predicted mask. So there will be various layers in change decoder, hierarchical change decoder. We in DDPM CD we have control over uh, this uh, change decoder like how many layers we want to uh, give input as a change decoder. Now the activation which was used is a ReLU activation. The weights was frozen for uh, like for the first image whatever weight are used for the second image also the same weights will be used. So this was about the architecture. Now let us see how to execute it. I have a demo for you. So to run this entire repository, we just uh, need to create a Python environment and all the dependencies are provided in environment.yml file. Just create an environment using Anaconda, using Miniconda, using a Python or V environment or any virtual environment. Just activate that environment. Here, if you read this, you will get some basic idea that how uh, this author is executing it. The data set which are used for this repository is uh, Livir, WHU, DSIFN and CCD. We will talk about it in more detail. And here uh, the author has also given the pre-trained weights. So in Dropbox also and uh, in google drive also you can download them and put it in a folder so if you see around the results here you, the author has compared the results with various uh, uh, 
existing deep learning models like change former which is one of the popular change former bit is a vision transformer based deep learning model for change detection and ddpm cd so ddpm cd has outperformed on all the data sets all type of four data sets so let us talk about the data sets more this LEVIS CD is a urban data sets where pre image and post image of urban areas will be captured. WHU is a Yuhan University where uh, the same area when before building the university and after building the university was captured. DSIFN will have many type of data sets in it like uh, uh, road network, uh, urban network or some uh, landscape changes so this is very good data set the ccd is change detection data set where uh, uh, many changes of satellite images are captured with uh, a lot of noise into it where if you open the data sets you will be able to see many noise so here are the various data set all of the data sets are of 256 by 256 scan pixel images here a means pre image b means post image these are the post image and label means it's a change detection mask which we have to prepare manually or using sam facebook model or some other technique List is the list of data sets for training, testing and validation. So this similar thing is there in all of the remaining data sets. The link to download the data sets is given in the paper itself. Now I have executed DDPM CD. The major changes which we have to do is in the configuration files. So there will be various configuration files and uh, we have some trace.json for just executing the model or we have train also train.json files to train the entire model on various data sets. If you want your custom data set you have to create your own configuration file or you can modify an existing one. So let us execute this cdd underscore test.json. Here in cdd underscore test.json, here first of all we have to change the phase as a test phase. Then in path you have to fill up the path of the pre trained model if you are using the existing one. So let me show you where it, it exists. So this is uh, the entire directory. And if you download their pre-trained model or pre-trained network, which is provided by the author, you will find these two folder. The first folder here is a CD model where various CD models was provided. And these weights are with respect to, uh, these weights are with respect to the, this decoder, this change decoder model. Because the first model here is a, diffusion model the second one second model is a chain decoder model so these are the weights for the chain decoder model and these are the weights for the diffusion model so you have to like copy the path here and you have to paste the path at the correct location here in path resume state you have to put the diffusion model path and path cd resume state you have to put the change detection model path now as i told that you can control the uh, the the depth or uh, the number of layers or depth in the change decoder and that facility will be provided by uh, these uh, different cd model like 50 100 uh, 400 650 so uh, only first 50 layers will be used, 100 layers will be used, 400 layers will be used and 650 layers will be used. And the same configuration you have to do here also. Like uh, suppose I'm using 50 100 uh, model. I'm using uh, chain detection CTT dataset with 50 100 as a two uh, layer. 
like here we have total five uh, decoder so decoder number zero decoder number one two three four so uh, the decoder number zero will have uh, initial few layers the f1 will have uh, output from the 50th layer then from 100th layer from 400th layer and from 650th layer so to control all these we need uh, um, these uh, timestamps we also call, uh, call all these as the timestamps also so if i am using cd5000 then the tip, the t timestamp should also be 5000 if this is not equal to your uh, data set then you will be getting an error of size because model will of of a different size so after doing all these settings basically we have to uh, define the path of uh, data set so after doing this uh, changes uh, we have to execute the model now uh, if you want to train the model uh, the, uh, you have to execute this ddpm train file but if you want to just uh, test the model then you have to execute ddpm cd file so i have opened ddpm cd file where configuration file i have to set i want to test the uh, the cdd data set so configuration slash cdd test.json now let us execute this so when we will execute this we can see that through ddpm python environment the file is executed the python file is executed and it is reading the configuration file after reading the configuration file it has find, found out these are the configurations now after finding the configurations now this has uh, this code has loaded a pre-trained model of diffusion now the pre-trained model of diffusion is used in this in this model for feature extraction now after loading the diffusion model the code will also load the change detection model for change detection output so for change detection decoder also this uh, it will load the model so now here we go uh, so uh, it now it has loaded the pre-trained network for change detection model that is cdd5000 and it has started the evaluation or testing phase because we have executed the testing phase so the first image is executed second image is predicted third image change detection uh, predicted fourth image like that it will predict here all of the images while it, it is running let us see the output the output of the model can be seen in experiments folder here in experiments if we open we will have the checkpoint checkpoints will be stored in case of uh, uh, training phase and we have some logs and when db logs and then results in results we have to open this here are the results here are the results gt is ground truth image which is coming from the label image prediction is coming from the model output image a and image b is a pre and post image so if you see this is pre image this is pre image this is post image so here we can see the construction of the new building and near this road the road is same and this is uh, ground truth you can see gt here ground truth and this is the predicted image here we can see the predicted image is almost near to the ground truth but predicted image has some false alarm also small false alarms but overall result is satisfactory here you can use your own custom data sets also to use your own custom data set either you have to create your own configuration file or just modify one of the configuration file now you can execute a training part also to execute the training part you have to first create your data set in this format which i have already told you like uh, suppose like in this format a b label list here the input should be 256 by 256 data 256 by 256 
and after just uh, doing this after preparing your training data set you just have to uh, yeah you just have to train it uh, after creating the configuration file and the training will happen uh, using this uh, ddpm train you just have to specify your configuration file here and the training will start so uh, thank you so much uh, this is uh, from my side and this is our youtube channel please do share and subscribe our youtube channel here we will be posting everything related to AIML uh, on satellite images and a general concepts. Thank you so much.